Hey everybody, how's it going? And I'm really sorry I have not made a video in such a long time. And I've just been in a really, really bad financial situation right now. I'm currently still in it even though I'm working part-time while attending school. I don't really want to get into it. It makes me sad every single time I think about it. But before I begin this product review, I just want to let you know, and this is really, really late too. I have actually hit over 300 subscribers and really I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me and remain subscribed to my channel. And for all the new people who subscribe to my channel, as usual, welcome to the channel. I do hope my product reviews help you out sometime in the future. Oh, sorry I'm looking down. I actually have my tablet here with some of the information I'm about to present to you. To you from Lush, of course, which is one of my favorite companies, to an extent, but that's a different story. I'm going to be reviewing this stuff to you. This is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. And I ended up picking this up last year before it went out of stock. This is a limited edition stuff, so it only comes out near the Christmas season, I believe. Um, it comes in three sizes, and keep in mind I'm actually looking down because I got the information on my tablet. But it comes in a 3.3 fluid ounce size, which is the one I have right here, an 8.4 fluid ounce, which is sort of like the regular size, and a 16.9 fluid ounce, which is like the really big size. You know, the big bottles they usually see when you walk into a Lush store. And the 3.3 fluid ounce size is $8.95 to $9.95 plus tax. The bigger size which is 8.4 fluid ounce I believe is somewhere around $19.95 to maybe $21.95 and the much bigger size which is the 16.9 fluid ounce I believe it's around maybe $29.95 to $30 to $31.95 I'm really sorry if I'm not getting these prices right but the prices vary depending on the kinds of um, shower gels that Lush comes out with Right now they have their yummy mummy um, shower gel, shower creams actually, they're not shower gels anymore. But they actually have that out so if you want to try that go ahead to the Lush website. Back on this, I actually picked this up a very long time ago, in fact last Christmas season, well before Christmas season, because this stuff, this, this stuff I've been wanting to try it for a while now. I already tried the Rose Argan, Rose Argan body conditioner. And if you missed my review of that, you can go look at the playlist called Product Reviews and you can see it in there. You can just go back and watch it. But this stuff, I got a chance to use it for a very long time. And in fact, I only started using it maybe early to mid-April, I think. Yeah. Early to mid-April, I think that's when I started to use it. And now I'm just kind of down to here. I don't know if it's showing up on the video or not. But this is where I'm down to. This is how much I got left. This is what the bottle itself looks like. At least this is what the 3.3 fluid ounce bottle looks like. I'm very sorry about the label because I do use this in the shower. And the labels on some of the Lush products don't tend to stick very well. Just to get into it, I really, really like this product. To start with, the fragrance is awesome. Okay, It's the exact same fragrance as the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. The Rose Jam Bubble Rune, if you really like those little bubble things that, the Lush, that Lush sells. And Jason and the Argan Oil. And I think there was like another product too that had the same smell. I might have already mentioned it. But yeah, Jason and the Argan Oil also has the same smell. But I really, really love the smell of this. It does not smell like one of those artificial rose smells that you would get in a typical body wash at a drugstore. It smells like a real rose, and that's because it uses real rose extracts combined with vanilla. Vanilla, And I think, yeah, lemon oil too. I forgot that it has lemon oil in it. But either way, the smell is wonderful, and I really wish that I could put it into a perfume oil. Or a solid perfume. That would be great. In terms of it being a really, really good body wash... It does what any typical Lush shower gel would do. It gets me nice and clean here. Now, it does have argan oil in it, so in terms of moisture, I don't really get that as much. And I think that was kind of the biggest complaints with people who said that they really like the um, 
Lush shower gels, but they felt like they weren't getting a lot of moisture. Sure, it got them clean, but their skin was kind of left tight and dry afterwards. That's usually the case with this, except that it's not really left as tight. It's a little bit dry, but because it has argan oil in it, yeah. Yeah, I just read over the ingredient list. It does have argan, argan oil in it. And, sorry, fly. Anyway. It does have argan oil in it, so it kind of left me very moisturized here, and it did not... It didn't totally dry out my skin because of this. It did leave it just a little bit dry, just enough for me to apply like a lotion or something on it, but not enough to where my skin is screaming, oh gosh, you better throw some lotion on me, girl. It's vegan, by the way, I forgot to mention that. But... It cleans very well, you don't need a lot of it, and you can get the best results if you use like a loofah or a shower poof. I keep forgetting the name of those things, but I think that's what the names of those things are. I use a shower poof, and you only need about maybe three to four squirts. Now, the only reason I'm down to this is because I'm a bit heavy-handed when it comes to my body washes. So, I tend to use a lot more than necessary. So sometimes I like to add on maybe five squirts of this stuff and that's good enough for me and I tend to have bubbles all over the tub. Excuse me. Tend to have bubbles all over the tub and whatnot. But this stuff is pretty concentrated. It's not all watery. It's actually very thick. I don't even know if you can see. It's really, really thick and it's pretty concentrated so you don't need a lot of it. And plus I do like the color of it too. But I'm sorry to say, like I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, it is limited edition, so you're going to have to wait until near this Christmas season or near the end of every year unless they re decide to make it a permanent product and release it all year long, which would be absolutely freaking wonderful. But you'll have to wait until the next Christmas season in order to use it. Well, the upcoming Christmas season. We're nowhere near December yet. But you gotta wait until then in order to use it. The thing is, I feel like when it comes to that time, when we get to that point during this Christmas season, I feel like they're gonna release this stuff in a shower cream. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I've been noticing a trend with the previous shower gels that we had, the Yummy Mummy, the Prince Charming, and then there was another shower gel that got turned to a cream, I think. No, it was just the Prince Charming and the Yummy Mummy. I'm kind of worried about that because the Prince Charming one I actually did like, and I did a review on that a very long time ago. I really, really like the smell of that one. Well, I actually got the chance to try the Prince Charming shower cream and I didn't think too highly of it. It just smelled really weird. The Yummy Mummy smelled really good. Then again, I'm not even reviewing those two products. Why am I talking about them? I don't know. I'm getting off track. But in short, what I'm thinking is, and I don't know if it's going to be true or not, I got a feeling that this is going to be released as a shower cream when we see it again. I don't know if it's true or not. It might not be true, but if it is, just don't be surprised if it's actually released as a shower cream. It's a really good, as of now, this is a really good shower gel. I'd be surprised if it's still, still keep it as a shower gel. And if you see it again, I recommend for you to pick it up immediately if you want to try it. Because as soon as this stuff hits the shelves, it, goes, it gets sold out really fast. Even online too. So if you see it, go ahead and pick it up if you want to try it. I mostly consider this a nice luxury product since it's so expensive, since most of the products at Lush are pretty expensive anyway. But that's pretty much all I have to say about it. If you happen to have, um, if you happen to actually have this shower gel but you've tried it a few times and you decided to wait on it or if you're just collecting it or whatever you do, if you actually have tried it, go ahead and let me know in the comments below here. And by the way, People did tell me online that they usually com like to combine this shower gel with the other shower gel, which is called um, Sunshine. Yeah, I think it's called Sunshine. But they like to combine this shower gel in particular with Sunshine and it creates a really, really good smell combination. I haven't done it before, but I'll keep it in the back of my mind. If you've also done that, let me know in the comments below how it worked for you, okay? 
Now, I've already posted my review on my blog, so if you haven't read my blog post, I, of course, I'm going to leave it in the description below. Stupid fly. Anyway, I'm going to leave it in the description below, and or it's going to show up in one of these bubbles here, and one of these little cards that show up on the um, sides of my video here. But that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a really good product, but I consider it a luxury product. And as always, if you really, really like my reviews, a thumbs up is appreciated. Feel free to subscribe to my videos. I will try, as I said before in probably the last two videos, I'm trying to pump out these reviews as much as I can because I think I'm falling behind on getting the, on getting the video reviews out rather than creating a blog post for them. So I'm trying to get them out as much as I can. But just understand that it's going to be really tough for me to do that since I'm just currently working out my situation right now. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for your support since I'm over 300 subscribers. Thank you so much for your patience and whatnot. And I will see you in the next video. All right, guys. So stay tuned and I'll catch you later.